Chapter 12 The following day, John woke up on the floor between his coffee table and his couch. Sunlight peeked through his blinds. Maria was laid out in a puddle of her own drool. He shook her. Hey, it's morning. He poked her. Huh? She rose slowly and wiped the drool from her mouth. Then with her eyes barely open, she looked around the couch for her phone. What time is it? She asked. Can you call my phone? John went to his room to grab his phone, but was shocked at the time. It's almost one o'clock, he said. Are you serious? She said. Reeves is gonna kill us. He's going to kill you, Maria said. He loves me. John dialed Maria's number and her music blared from her purse. She sprang up, grabbed it, and swiped through the screen. John skipped to his bathroom, slammed the door, and let out a long stream. Maria banged on the door, startling him. Hey, I have a couple of missed calls from him and a few texts saying to call him back. John washed his hands and brushed his teeth before opening the door. He smiled. Ready. I need a towel, Maria asked. For what? To dry off after I shower. You think I'm going to work smelling like your couch? The rest of her rant was in Spanish. John grabbed an extra towel. She snatched it out of his hands and slammed the bathroom door in his face. Okay, he said. He swiped through his phone and waited for her to finish. There were 13 missed calls, all from Reeves. Yet there was only one text. I need to speak to you and Maria immediately. It read. Once Maria was ready to go, they headed out. Maria stopped before they reached the sidewalk. She placed a hand on John's shoulder. Hey, she said. You can stay home if you're not feeling 100%. I'm okay. John saw the concern in her eyes. He smiled. Besides, rent is due in a few weeks and I can't afford to be fired. Okay, she said. My car is this way. It was hours before the afternoon rush, so the streets were relatively calm. As they made their way to Maria's car, John felt like he couldn't keep his balance. The sidewalk seemed to bend and twist under his feet. A pressure overwhelmed his thoughts, causing him to fall on his hands and knees. Maria said something, but the static in his ears muted her voice. His vision warped, and everything blurred white. John wanted nothing but to lie down. Suddenly, he was back in his bed.